So this is the um, GitHub page for Lotus JS client. Um, and Lotus has an API you can talk to over HTTP. Um, the API is built around uh, JSON RPC. This is like the format that goes over the wire when you're talking to your Lotus miner uh, nodes and miners. And um, you, you can program it in Go, um, potentially any programming language. Um, but we're making some libraries that run on the JavaScript script or in your web browser or in Node.js with JavaScript, which simplify talking to your Lotus nodes. And this is the GitHub project for it. Uh, there's a little example code here. And then uh, if you click down here, this is, I'm, it's really under construction, but there's a documentation section. This will turn into another site. Uh, a little description of the list of libraries. You're going to have some quick start guides. And I've also got um, not complete API documentation yet, but um, you can sort of click through here and see all the different methods you can call. Th this is the Go documentation that I've got in here, but we'll replace it with examples that use the JavaScript library that I'm working on. So um, for this demo, I've also um, running a, a local net with Lotus. Um, and I'm using uh, the Lotus Filecoin implementation. And I'm using a, a project called TestGround, which lets you uh, run networks of software and do testing and things against it. And I'm using it to run a, um, this is literally the code from like two hours ago, the tip of the tree of Lotus, uh, which will be the next version of the test net. Um, and uh, to demonstrate the library, uh, earlier this week we did a workshop where I used this uh, code code playground called Glitch, and uh, here's some source code. I'm just going to go really quickly, but um, you can just click on Show uh, in a new window, and here's the app I built. All the source code's there, um, and what it's done is it's connected to this these six uh, Filecoin nodes I'm running and it picks one at random and you can click here you can see the chain so this is a developer build a debug build of five coin creates a, a block out every two seconds so it's very quick uh ceiling uh which normally takes hours only takes minutes because it only allows you to store store two thousand bytes at a time um, and you can see here here's my all my miners and they have power um, so here, here's the demo. So I'm going to open the camera. Okay, there's me. I'll hold something up so you can tell. Take the picture. So what it did is it just uploaded uh, that picture. It shrank it to under 2,000 bytes, to, and it just uploaded it to node number four in my network. Um, it's sitting there. I want to actually store it in Filecoin using deals. So I've got these little buttons here. I'm just going to store it on all the the miners here. And if I scroll down, you can see it's um, going through the process of storing on Filecoin. And you can see if, when it finally gets to the ceiling state, this takes, on this network, takes maybe four or five minutes. So I won't be able to complete it before the end of the, the thing, uh, the thing. But I can look at some previous ones I've stored. So I can click on here. I can see on node number four. Oh, actually, that's the ones I just did. I guess these are older ones. So if I, I can copy the CID, and then I have a retrieval client here. So I can put the CID in here, find and download. So it's going to say, oh, from node number four, um, I'd stored it on this miner. I click retrieve. And hey, the demo gods are happy. So this is. I stored previously. Um, I got Molly to volunteer, and um, uh, about ten minutes before, um, she opened up a web browser and she she stored herself on the Spotcoin network. Um, so if this works, I should be able to just do retrieve this JPEG. I don't know if the demo gods are happy to, right now. So hey, there, there, there's Molly. So, hey. So um, if anybody wants, see, they can actually go to this, this, um, this link here. And let's see if I can find the chat. Um, 
you can uh, store your selfies. And um, I don't know how this code, like I, I only got this written this morning, but the actual front end, web front end and the, the Lotus thing, I just pulled it the latest build. So it's really stabilizing, it's, it's good stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, try it. Um, I, you can try to post the CIDs in the chat, but you can't copy out of Slack. So you don't want to type them by hand. So um, anyways, that's what I got. So um, check out my, uh, the library I'm working on and we're going to do, put a lot of code examples and show you how to build things like this. So thank you.